kiss for you. Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to my another video on Android app development. And so, guys, in this video, I will talk about how to send the or the image uh, using the retrofit library in Android Studio. So basically, we will be sending the request as the form data. So first of all, let me show you my API, and also let me show you the Postman okay so guys here i have this api and inside that we have uh, a field which is user id and here we have the image and from there i can choose any image and upload it okay so if i click ok and i click on send so the image will be sent to the server using the retrofit and here you are able to see the form data here all right so uh, let me again open because the image size is uh, a bit more so that is why it is uh, taking some time so let me just select this and i click on send and now the image will be sent and we will have a result okay so inside my android studio first of all as you guys know that we have to create an interface and inside that we can uh, specify all the calls and all the requests here so here you are able to see i have uh, developed all these apis so the api which i want to teach you is this one okay so if you ever want to send your image from your uh, android phone using retrofit so basically what you do is to uh, just specify the call with a response body object and you create the method and inside that you have to use the part and it is the multi part body and you can say multi part body dot part and then you also need uh, the user id and that will also be a part but it will be in the form of request body alright uh, first of all you have to specify this inside your uh, api interface or you can say the interface which you have just created so after you specify this you can okay so let me first of all see the postman and here you are able to see the response okay so the first step is you first of all uh, need to copy the, uh, the response here and go to json to schema and here this is the website which generates the model classes for your uh, json all right so here what you do is you just need to uh, remove that and paste your code and inside that package field you need to specify your app name you i mean the app package name then you need to specify the class name so here i can say photo upload model okay then you have to select java then you need to select json here and also inside your annotation style you need to select json okay so after that you just need to click on zip and it will generate generate your zip file and if you click on that so it will be downloaded so you just need to import that inside your android studio all right then here you are i show you my response model and yes here you are able to see upload image model and there are two classes first one is data and the second one is update image model so first of all what you need you need to do is okay so inside my edit profile image so here what i have done is i have used the request body object and i have done this request body dot create and inside that i have passed the media type and i have passed it and here you can see multi part slash form data all right and the second one is and it will be the user id okay so since it is sent in the uh, form data for format so we can just use this okay 
then after that we also need the okay so from there i am getting the file in uh, object then after that what we can do is we can uh, create another request body object and mm -hmm. this time it will be request file then similarly we just need to parse a this multi-form data then we need to provide the file object all right then after that we can have request image here you can see multi parts body and there you we can have the image and we can specify the file name and the request file all right then we just need to uh, access the interface then we can access the interface the method this update user profile and in here we just send the u request image and the request user id i hope you have some of the idea uh, and i will create a separate video series for the retrofit and i will explain all this in detail okay so if the response is successful so we can print a message uh, image uh, uploaded successfully and inside our own failure method we can uh, toast a message that could not update the image alright guys so i hope you have understood some of the important points so guys if you like the video please like share and subscribe goodbye